Welcome! Today we're making one of my personal favorites, Filipino Spanish bread. Let's start with our dry ingredients. Let's slowly add flour so there's no flour dust everywhere. Then our sugar and salt. Mix, mix, mix. I'm transferring the mixture onto a parchment paper for ease of mixing or pouring with the wet ingredients. Let's oil the bowl where we will proof our dough ball. For the wet ingredients, I warmed up a cup of milk. Adding a tablespoon of sugar, instant dry yeast. You may add the yeast directly with the dry ingredients, but I just like to do it this way. I'm using canola oil. Feel free to use butter if you want. Then add the egg to bind our dough. I want to see the yeast activated. Now let's combine the wet and the dry into our stand mixer bowl. You're free to knead it by hand if you prefer. Let's attach our dough hook. Let's begin mixing at a medium speed. Now let's increase the speed to medium high. Uh oh, looks like my dough is kind of wet. So I stopped it and added a tablespoon of flour. I added a total of two tablespoons. But make sure to add a tablespoon at a time though because you don't want a dry nor a wet dough. I stopped and scraped all sides two to three times in between kneading. We'll allow this to knead for 10 to 12 minutes or until a dough ball forms. I prefer to use oil instead of flour when handling the dough because flour has a tendency to dry out the dough. The dough should be smooth, elastic, and it should be easy to do a window pane test. That means our dough is ready for rising. I want the dough moist to prevent an elephant skin when it has risen completely. Also, I will be bummed if I have to start all over again. Let's make sure the dough ball is well coated. I like using saran wrap because it traps the moisture inside the bowl. Let's proof our dough until it doubles in size for about an hour. To make our buttery crumbs filling, we will combine the soft unsalted butter, breadcrumbs, sugar, few tablespoons of milk. We want the butter to well incorporate with the breadcrumbs for that soft, buttery and crumbly filling on the inside. For breading, I used one cup of breadcrumbs and a tablespoon of sugar. Mix, mix, mix! Look! No elephant skin! <laughs> Let's give it a punch. Pack! <laughs> Look! My dough is still moist, not dry, which is good. Let's cut this in half. Wrapping the other half with cloth or saran wrap will keep its moisture. Let's put it here. This area is warm, so it should be good. I like forming mine into logs so it's easy to cut them into pieces. Cut them to your preferred size. Let's put the pieces to the side and make sure to cover it so they don't dry out. We will roll and flatten each dough just like so. Then add as much filling as you want. But make sure you do not overfill or it will be hard to roll it. It's optional but I brushed some milk for the breadcrumbs to really stick on it. And there they are! Ta-da! <laughs> we will let these rise for 30 to 45 minutes. Here we go! Ta-da! <laughs> Let's bake these babies for 12 to 15 minutes. I like to rotate the baking sheet halfway for an even golden brown color. Let's begin! Time for some taste test! Mga <laughs> ang